Uh, we're going to be playing some Horse Sims today, which is a legacy playthrough in The Sims 4 where I have a family, um, a Sims family, also horses. Anyways, <laughs> it's a legacy playthrough, uh, but it is focused on... Um, focused on horses, focused on the horse ranch pack. Uh, so basically each generation focuses on like a different area of the horse ranch pack. It's super fun. I'm biased because I love horses and the Sims, but it's pretty great. Uh, if you want to know more about the challenge itself in Twitch chat, you can do exclamation horse Sims. And there's a link to my website, which explains the challenge. But yeah, let's, let's play the Sims and then I'll stop being nervous once we're actually playing. <laughs> Okay. Also, my cat is here. Okay, he finally... My cat is hanging out in Twitch. In Twitch. <laughs> uh, and he's finally settled down, I think. So we'll cross our fingers that he actually stays there, but... No, he heard me talking about him. I've made a, I've made a huge mistake. I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Welcome in, new friend. Thank you for the follow. I hope you're having a good day. The TikTok live looks and sounds great. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> It's very hard to tell. <laughs> but it was it was actually it was actually like quite easy to set up, which I'm really jazzed about. Um I used the like TikTok live um live studio, I think it's called for desktop. Uh and I really like it. Ten out of ten. I mean, we'll see how my computer does with all of the things being live, but <laughs> okay. So we are in. Um, this is Pat, Patrick Gallup. He is a child still. This is the thing that I wanted to check. Yeah. So he, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> you like jazz? Hi, Robin. <laughs> I do. It's true. <laughs> uh, so he ages up to teenager, to teenager, to teenage. He ages up to a teenager tomorrow. It looks like. Uh, so we literally only have one day left with Pat as a child. So earlier when I was saying, oh, maybe we'll get to play, maybe we'll get to be in the teenage years today. Yeah, we're definitely going to be in teenage years today. So that's exciting. Um, oh my God, I'm so nervous. He's a teen. They grow up so fast. Okay. Um, I think we have already finished. Yeah, we had a child aspiration for Pat, but we finished it, I think last stream or the stream before. So we don't have to like worry about getting any specific things done for Pat right now. And he's an A student. Okay. So that's good. And it's Saturday. So we don't really have to worry about school at the moment. Can you believe it? This is my, so this is our first game. We good? Okay. This is our first like generation in this challenge that we played from um from like baby <laughs> from infancy all the way up so since it's the second generation the first generation we started as a teen um but like so this will be our second time playing with a teenage sim but our first time having our sim grow all the way up i'm so proud uh okay so we also have two horses <laughs> This is Denali and Dusty, and they are baby. Well, they're not. This is, Dusty is absolutely like, an, I think an elder, or Denali is an elder horse at this point, but Dusty is still just an adult. Um, I'm hoping to have more horses at some point, but I need to figure out a way to have, it's, it's a whole thing, we'll figure it out. Um, and then Ray is our first generation Sim, and this is her partner, Dwayne. But we're not really, we don't have to focus on them anymore because we finished the requirements for Gen 1. Okay, I'm recapping more for myself than anything because I haven't played this save in about two weeks because I was on vacation. <laughs> but I think we're good. I'm gonna press play. Basically, it's Saturday, so we can kind of do anything that we would like. Um, Pat has no requirements for things he has to do. I might think about just like checking out his... Um, like skills, I guess, to see if there's anything we want to try to level while he's still a kid. But I think all of these will like switch over to being 
the adult, like different adult skills anyway, so who cares? Oh, I do know something I forgot. We have, oh, ignore this trash. Just, it's not there. We have this like really adorable tree house. I can't get over how cool the tree house is that Ray built for uh, Pat, for baby Pat. Uh, and I think that they can still use the tree house when they're teens. Like, I think it's not gonna, I think it's not like, okay, now the tree house is closed off forever. Um, but I really do want him to have some time. Let's see. Let's play pretend pirate hideout. Oh wait, what does he? He's gonna chat with Dwayne. So we'll let him do that first. But I really, I want him to have more time in the, in the tree house before he ages up to a teen. They're so sweet. Okay. I just didn't want to interrupt that if he was going to like ask for advice or something, which sometimes they do. All right, let's do play pretend pirate hideout. I think Dwayne has work. He's going to go to work. What's... Ray is uncomfortable from something being dirty, but she's cleaning. She, she, she went, she like specifically went to go pick up the trash and then was like, ugh, gross. I hate trash. <laughs> Gotta get all the childhood wonder in while he still can. Yeah. I mean, like as a teen, maybe he'll, he'll still enjoy what? <laughs> oh, all this relaxation, self-care and balance doesn't feel right for Dwayne. <laughs> Should he admit that he prefers a little chaos and dislikes wellness? Okay. I mean, I'm gonna allow it because that's hilarious, but I love that it's phrased that <laughs> self-care, relaxation, self-care and balance doesn't feel right for Dwayne. Great. <laughs> Toxic, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well that's fine, Dwayne. What was Dwayne even doing? Oh, he went to go try out yoga on Ray's yoga mat and he was like, no. I really hate this. Okay, Dwayne can't fix this, but can Ray? I'm gonna have Ray repair this broken, I don't know what this is called, thingy? Okay, and Dwayne's going off to work anyways. Like, <laughs> he had like 10 minutes before he had to go to work and he was like, now seems like the good, like the best time to try yoga. Hates it. The horses are inside. Yeah. Yeah, the horses do do that. Um, you can, in The Sims, you can lock all of your doors for horses so that they don't go inside. Uh, but I decided not to because I do think it's pretty funny when horses go inside. So they just do. They just go inside. They just do. <laughs> Hi, Kana. Welcome in. Happy snow day. Thank you. The snow has mostly... Oh yeah, it's super rainy outside. <laughs> and so the snow has mostly melted, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but it was really beautiful this morning when it was nice and snowy. I really liked it. Jealous of your snow and also high on my lunch break. I hope your lunch break is going well, you see. I'm also jealous of the snow that we had only for the morning today. Okay, well, he got like enough pretend time in, I guess. You can take some of mine. I'll share. I'll take it. Gone. I'll take it. I really love snow. Um, okay. Pat, what do you want to do in your last childhood time? In your last moments of childhood? Maybe we can ride. He does have a bike that I think is like specifically a child bike. Which I think when he ages up to teen, we'll just get him a bike. Ignore this horse poop, it's fine. Um, it happens. When he ages up to be a teen, we'll just get him a bike that works for, <laughs> works for teen, for teens. Um, but maybe he can go for a bike ride, but it is like rainy. He's gonna go get food, yeah, just go do that. It's so weird. Like, what do we do? Ray can bake a cake, but I think his birthday isn't until tomorrow. So we should probably just wait until tomorrow to bake a cake. I think that's probably better. We haven't had snow in years. We have like 
I think most winters we do get some amount of snow, but I think that last winter I remember there being a lot more snow than we have had so far this winter, or maybe it was two winters ago. Basically, right now we have a pretty minimal amount of snow, which makes me sad a little bit. Living in the South is bad for multiple reasons, yeah. Yeah, when I, I previously lived in Texas and the winters were great living in Texas because we didn't have to, like, we could go outside a bunch. We didn't have to worry about ice. Like, we didn't have to worry about the snow being really difficult. Um, but I did really miss the snow. And also, the summers were so rough for me. Oh. Okay, Dwayne is at work and his job is, he works as, he. I think he's in the gardening career. Wait, is that true? Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> the last time that we were playing, someone got fired, but it was Ray. She got fired for doing something a little too bold at her cooking job. <laughs> Anyways, business has been booming and Dwayne has been making twice as many arrangements as, us as usual. To keep supplies up, he needs to pollinate his plants to expand their garden further. How does Dwayne go about pollinating all of their plants? Installing a bee box and letting the bees do it or take no chances and pollinate the plants manually? Okay. He actually already got this pop-up once before and I was super excited about bees. I was like, obviously bees, that seems incredible. Um, and then it it like did not work out well and he got stung by a bee or something. So I think this time <laughs> he's gonna learn from his previous mistakes and manually pollinate. Oh, and that didn't work either. It says after tireless hours of working with tweezers, Dwayne has only gotten through a fraction of the plants to pollinate. At this rate, it will take weeks to expand any of the garden Hello, what just happened? Did he just breathe fire? Hang on a moment. <laughs> There's so much going on. Did <laughs> did Baby Patches briefly breathe fire? Did anyone see that? Okay, it's fine. Anyways, won't be able to serve customers. Dwayne, performance loss small. Uh, neither option is good, apparently. I think Pat just ate spicy food and he did not like it. <laughs> I just don't go outside May through October. Yeah, that's that's how that's what I remember living in Texas is like the warm months were just indoor months, which I didn't love. <laughs> oh, good. That's good. That's really good. Sweet, sweet baby Pat, which also he's not a baby. He's a child now, but he was a baby. OK, he'll always be our baby Pat. He was just trying to be a good little guy. and clean up his dish. <laughs> but instead he accidentally broke the sink and now his mom, Ray, is gonna have to come clean it up <laughs> or fix it, repair it. Okay, let's have Pat, what's he doing? Stretch, he wants to stretch, okay. Oh, he already stretched. He did a really quick stretch. Um, oh, you know what we haven't done in a while? All right, so a while, no, it's raining. I keep wanting to do outdoor activities, but it's raining. I think we're gonna send him back to the treehouse again to try some more treehouse time. Let's have, him, ooh, play in enclosure. Yeah, let's have him play in enclosure so he can make the most of his last few childhood moments in his really incredible treehouse that his mom built for him. He even looks yeehaw. Like the way that he walks is very yeehaw somehow. <laughs> like this is the most yeehaw cowboy small child that there is, you know? <laughs> Anyways, Ray. Oh, that was quick. She fixed the sink like very, very quickly. She's going to browse the web on her. T nope, she's not. Let's have her throw this pile of trash away and then also we'll have her do some mopping because she hates dirty stuff. She's on, she's a neat sim, so she really does not like messes. It makes her uncomfortable, so we'll have her clean some more. Basically, I think I want to aim for having Pat. <laughs> Hi, Bucky, yeehaw. Hi, friend. Um, I want to aim for having Pat in and around. Wait, this is so cute. You can see that he's playing. Uh, in and around to the treehouse for as much of today as possible as like his last childhood day. And then I think 
One thing that I didn't think about until just now is that maybe I should have planned a birthday party for him, but his birthday is tomorrow, so we do still have time to plan a quick party. Um, I sort of feel like maybe Ray would want to plan him a party. So Ray is our first generation Sim and her whole thing that she focused on was like having social gatherings. She had the party animal aspiration and she did like a bunch of party hosting, being social with people, etc. So I feel like it makes sense for her. Like in initially she finished the party animal aspiration like way quicker than I sort of realized. <laughs> so initially I was imagining that she would have a lot of parties for her kid. Uh, and then we kind of didn't have a lot of parties for Pat. Um, but maybe we will have a party for him aging up to teen. Yeah, I agree. I think, I think she would like her, her baby's all grown up. He's about to be a teen. I'm so proud. Hi B. Welcome to TikTok. Thank you. I was so nervous to click go live on TikTok, but so far it has been very smooth and very fine. <laughs> I hope, knock on wood. All right, let's do on Sunday, which is his actual birthday. Oh, Dwayne has work, but he can just stay home from work. He can take a PTO day. Um, so we'll do add event, birthday party. It's right here. I just <laughs> can't read. Okay, we'll do birthday party. The birthday sim is Patrick. Guests. Oh, I do. I did realize. I think the like sort of difficult thing about child sims is, or at least for me, I have not had like a super great time <laughs> making, like having Patrick make friends. So. Since, like I find that typically I'm I don't really have a lot of good luck with making sim friends until my sim is at least a teenager because I think when they're a teenager since they go to high school it's like easy to meet a bunch of other sims and everything um but like when they're kids you have to be able to like go to places where other child sims are and I don't I don't like I always struggle with that hi Chloe thank you for the resub thank you thank you 31 months wow I can't do math, but that's a long time. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Hi, I hope work is, is going well. Have them make friends while at school. Yeah, and I think like, I feel like is there, it feels like they should make more friends while they're at like grade school when they're child sims. But my sims Happy like do not make- months. Sweet love of my life. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. Hi, Icon. You're the love of my life. <laughs> I just left nice. Happy end of work. I hope you get home very quickly and out of the cold. It's quite cold here as well. <laughs> Hi, Kana. Welcome back. Happy shoveling half of your driveway. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I feel like, yeah, the Sims should make more friends, like child friends when they go to grade school. But I find that my Sims usually don't for the most part. Like sometimes randomly they'll be like, oh, can I invite a friend over? And then they make friends. But like other than that, they don't. So anyways, I made one sim friend for Patrick Gallup. And that was, where is he? We made like a whole family of other Yeehaw Sims to be friends with our Sims. But wait, where are they? Hello? Maybe I need to plan the party as Pat so that I can see all of Pat's friends. Let's try that actually. But we'll just, will, will it even let me though? No, because he's a child. Oy, oy, oy. I was trying to give my Sims plenty of cousins or give their parents friends with kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. We made one, this is so, I, like, maybe Ray somehow just like hasn't met, <laughs> hasn't met Pat's friend whose name is, I forgot his name. It's a very yeehaw name, but I've already forgotten it. <laughs> Patrick is, look, the, we're going very yeehaw in this legacy challenge. All of the names are yeehaw. Also, my cat is once again sitting in front of my computer, so I see nothing. It's fine. 
But yeah, we made a whole entire family of Yeehaw friends so that Pat and also like, so the whole family would have some friends. Um, It was the Montanas. Remember? Well, I don't know. Who, yeah. So here's Deacon Montana and Kit Montana, but then they had a child and I guess Ray just like somehow has not met that child. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, well that's my that's my bad. That's my B. <laughs> so I'm gonna invite all of like Ray and Dwayne's adult friends. Um <laughs> and then I think maybe at the time of the party we'll just have Pat like call his friend and invite them over. But I don't know, like it's fine. We'll throw another party when he ages up. No, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just throw a party just for fun later after he makes more teenager friends. I don't know. <laughs> That's my bad. I should have made sure that <laughs> I should have made sure that we were making more child friends. And invite them over today and have them. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. That's a good idea. I'm going to genius. Genius. Okay. Let's have Pat. We'll do Darcy. I was like, I know I kept wanting to say that his name was Dusty, but that's our horse's name. <laughs> Uh, we'll invite over Darcy, invite to hang out at current lot, and then we'll make sure Ray meets Darcy, then we'll have Ray plan the party, and then Pat will have at least one, well, only one, one child friend. <laughs> but like, I don't know, they live in a pretty remote area, like, they don't have a ton of neighbors, really, like, there's no one, the only neighbor that they have... And they really don't have any. I mean, there's a neighbor like here, which I think is where the Montanas live, but they don't have a lot of neighbors. So I feel like it's sort of reasonable for them to not have like a ton of friends. But we should definitely make sure that uh, <laughs> we should definitely, definitely make sure that Patrick makes some friends when he's in high school. Okay, he's almost done playing in the enclosure, so I'll just let him finish that first. And in the meantime, Ray... Oh, she's taking out the trash. She's got trash to take care of. That's that's super fair. You've been making some waves, haven't you? The entertainment business would be a great place. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so Ray, another fun thing that keeps happening in this challenge, Ray has, like, a really good reputation and everyone likes her. And so every single time that we play, she gets at least several job offers. Uh, but last time she got a job, she hated it and quit and then got another job and also hated that. So I feel like she's just not in the mood for work right now. <laughs> so we're gonna decline the job offer for now. <laughs> I think maybe later she'll get another job, but lately she's just, she has just not been vibing with work and I can both relate to and respect that. Um, oh, oh yeah, the horses. We haven't even really checked on the horses much today, but they've mostly been okay. Okay, this is a bad moment because Dusty looks pissed, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, let me make sure that they have food. They don't. So we'll have Ray refill the feeder. Oh, and Denali is asleep, so she's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, one thing about me is I, I also don't want to work so <laughs> oh see she's like thrilled she's like yeah i'm not i don't have a job heck yeah i'm thrilled this is the best <laughs> i was gonna have her check on dusty but like Dusty's also fine these are all Dwayne's plants, but they're basically all out of season, so who cares? She's just gonna play a phone game. Pat is... is Pat... okay, Pat is almost... I just didn't want to cut his playtime short, you know what I mean? I wanted to wait for him to finish playing in the enclosure and then he can call Darcy. I'm excited to get home and join you on The Sims. Yes, please come play The Sims with me. Okay, so... oh, also... <laughs> I think Pat, or I, yeah, I think Pat also has to pee. So we'll have Pat go pee. His friend 
Dar no, Darcy. His friend Darcy is on his way over. And I think when Darcy gets here, we'll have, who's this? We'll have Ray greet him. Oh, a teen. How convenient. Okay, update. Let's have Ray do a, what is a Tomorani introduction? I don't know what that means. We'll have Ray do a friendly introduction to this teen. Um, <laughs> and maybe we can invite, we can invite her to Pat's party tomorrow. I think this is the child of someone that we know possibly, but like, I feel like it's kind of on brand to be like, oh, hey, you're about to age up into a teen. I've got a friend for you. It's so-and-so's child. I don't know. Like it feels on brand to do that. I can't. <laughs> so we'll have Ray meet Adelaide a little bit or just like, I don't know. We'll have them chat a little bit. Um, suggest fun activities. That's funny. That's like a funny because she's bored. I don't know. I love that. <laughs> Adelaide is like, no, no thanks. No thanks, adult. That does not sound fun. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. We're done. <laughs> Adelaide is like, that's enough. Uh, is... Is Darcy here? I feel like not yet, possibly. Anyways, I think theoretically, now that they've met, Ray could invite Adelaide, the only teen she knows, <laughs> to Pat's birthday party where he will age up to be a teen. So that's kind of perfect. Oh, Adelaide is like here. Oh, wait, Darcy is here. Was Dar Did Darcy just like go... <laughs> I think Darcy immediately went to the treehouse because that's where Pat was, but Pat was inside going to the bathroom. Okay, we'll have... Hang on, is Pat just standing in the bathroom? They're not going to go hang out in the bathroom. No. That, come on. Sims, that's... Okay, well... Anyways, uh, oh yeah, howdy introduction. We'll have Ray come do a howdy introduction to meet Darcy. All right, Darcy, okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> Darcy was like walking away, like I gotta get to this tree house. Oh, and then Pat wants to ask for advice. Oh. The tree was, my whole entire view was just the, that tree. Cool. <laughs> it feels like all children and teens hate Ray. Like Ray, like Ray just tried to introduce herself to Darcy, and he was like, "Uh," like he was so over it. <laughs> okay, okay, and Pat no longer wants to ask Ray for advice. Um, but we'll have Pat come hang out with Darcy. So now that Ray has met Darcy, I don't know. We'll have him talk for a second or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay, now he's not so mad about Ray. Hello, Adelaide. We just met you and you're already digging up our trash. That's rude. Uh, okay, let's have Pat and Darcy... Can we do, yeah, play pretend with, we'll do, ooh, Island Castaway with Darcy. I really want their last, well, I guess I don't think Darcy ages up at the same time as Pat, but Pat's last day as a child and he's gonna spend it, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the physics of that umbrella, but <laughs> something was wrong there, it's fine. Uh, he's gonna spend his last childhood day with his best friend in his treehouse. 
That's pretty cute. They grow up so fast. Okay, anyways. Where were we? Let's have Ray. <laughs> Let's have Ray plan a birthday party now. Now that she has met um <laughs> Pat's only child friend uh and some random teenager, she's perfectly equipped to plan Pat's birthday party where he ages up from child to teen. Right? It goes child teen. Yeah. Right? Okay. It's fine. Add event. Birthday party. Birthday sim. Pat. Guests. Um, definitely we should invite family. Uh, and I think we will invite some of um, Dwayne and Ray's like adult friends just, just because. Because like they've known Pat. Like also... Ray used to plan and host so many parties when Pat was like a baby. <laughs> and so a lot of her adult friends have met Pat and I think would be so thrilled to be at his birthday party where he ages up to a teen, where he's finally growing up. Um, okay, and then we have Bella Goth is a badass. Excuse me, sorry for my swear, but Bella Goth is way cool. Okay, and then we'll do, nice, Darcy Montana, Deacon Montana, and Kit Montana, the Montanas, if you will. And then, can we invite Ray? Does it work like that? Okay, but where was that one? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, where's that teen? Here's Adelaide Harjo and Marissa Harjo. So Marissa, I guess we, but like we barely know Marissa. It's fine. And Pelham Landgrab, that, is that one of the Landgrab's like kids? That feels possible. And Jacob. Jacob hasn't been invited to every single one of our parties. <laughs> My cat is howling in the other room. Hopefully you can't hear him, but if you can, sorry. <laughs> I think he's just begging for treats. Um, okay. Hi, Kenny. A book I got at a used bookstore for $10 is almost $200 on Amazon right now. I'm a thrift king. Incredible. I'm so proud of you. Great work. <laughs> are you going to sell it? Or is it just, are you like, is it a book that you wanted and you're just jazzed about it? <laughs> Okay, we have birthday sim, we have guests. I think we're not gonna hire a caterer, a mixologist, or an entertainer because basically, I think Ray's whole deal is that when she hosts parties, she loves like taking care of everything. Uh, and I think Dwayne has been enjoying mixology. So it'll be, everyone in, in the house will do the all the party entertaining stuff. Um, we're going to do it at home at the Gallup residence and we'll start at like, let's do like a, excuse me, let's do like a daytime kind of party so we can start at like 12 PM or 1 PM. Uh, cause it'll go for a couple of hours anyways. Yeah, that works. Yeah. He's still a child. Like he is aging up to be a teen, but like he's still currently in this moment, a child. So I don't think we need to go so late with our birthday party. Cool, we did it. I hope Sims is slaying. It is. It's slaying. <laughs> Kenny, I'm live on TikTok for the first time ever in my whole entire life. And so far, knock on wood, nothing has gone wrong. So that's cool. <laughs> it's a Steven Universe art book. I'm keeping that. Yeah, that makes sense. You should keep it. Who's standing outside? Wait, who is this? Ray, come back. Come meet this person, Kim. We'll do a friendly introduction. We love to see it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very proud of me. I was so nervous about it, but it's pretty chill so far. <laughs> Hi, TikTok. <laughs> okay. 
everyone's here in this small doorway. All right, okay, we're good. I wanna check on Denali. Oh, look at them. Look at them, these horses, they're, they're best. Well, okay, they are family. Denali is Dusty's mom, but they're so sweet. They love each other and they're eating lunch, dinner together. Denali has low hygiene and so does Dusty. So I think after, okay. Ray's just making a new friend. <laughs> Discuss fears of death. Oh, aren't you supposed to talk to an elder about that? Click on a ghost or elder sim. Yes. I know I just met you, but do you ever think about dying? <laughs> Wait, stop. Don't go away, Ray. Hang on. Don't. Oh, you have. To... Oh, you just want to clean the toilet? No, 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 no. That's not urgent. Discuss fears first. <laughs> first, we're going to. No, don't. Oh, wait. Okay. That was Darcy. Okay. I thought that. <laughs> I thought that our new elder friend was leaving, but it was it was Darcy. There's a lot going on suddenly. I don't know. Is it just me? Like, I feel like there are moments. Oh my gosh, hi Kenny. Hi double stream Kenny. I feel like there are moments when I'm playing The Sims where like very little is happening and I'm like, okay, like let's get some more stuff happening. Um, and then there are moments where so much is happening <laughs> and I can't balance it all. Anyways, it's fine. It's fine. We're doing great. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you perish is it okay to eat dirt um okay eating dirt is unhealthy or if you do kids may tease you i'm gonna go with eating dirt is unhealthy yeah that seems fine <laughs> what are those options <laughs> oh my gosh okay how's ray is is our fear oh okay so i think possibly Ray's fear, did it, did it, does it say? No. Possibly Ray's fear of perishing is gone, but she also has fear of failure. She wants to become recognized for work. Oh, but she just has to craft items and then show them off. So like it's rainy. So I think she has to, I don't think this is, this is her painting, but I don't think it's finished, but I think we're gonna wait until it's no longer rainy for her to finish this. But I think she can like finish creating a painting, show it off. And then that could be, that can help with her fear of failure. But she had a lot more fears than I realized. Oops. Um, okay, Pat, how are we doing buddy? Walking through the slide, just, that's fine. This is good. Um, oh cool, he's gonna talk with Denali. Oh yeah, Denali is sad. Maybe we can have Pat, I really want Pat to enjoy some of the like farm ranch work stuff. So maybe we can see if he can try to like cheer up Denali. And then also Denali, I think most of her needs are okay, except for hygiene is low. So we'll do the like cheer up, tell joke and stuff, but then we'll also do horse care. Oh, maybe he can't. Maybe he can't brush the horse because he's just a child, which I suppose makes sense. Oh, Ray's getting a call. What's up, Ray? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Ray's just too cool. Everyone knows about how cool she is. <laughs> like, and for what? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> okay. What? Oh, Kim Rocco's just taking out our trash. All right, no complaints. Oh, nice, he's just play, playing with a toy. Oh, and Ray's cooking? Grilled cheese. It's gonna be a single serving of grilled cheese. I just know it. Oh, wow, Dwayne became acquaintances with Dusty. Dwayne has lived in the same house as these horses for like a really, really long time, but both of the horses have really, have really disliked him for a very long time. Not totally sure. Like Denali hates Dwayne. Denali and Dwayne are not friends. Again, not totally sure why. That's just, that's just how it is. Uh, but Dusty finally likes Dwayne. So they've really come a long way. 
I think I'll have Dwayne come take care of them and then he can go get himself some food. Sorry, Dwayne, horses first. Um, they're both low hygiene, so we can have them brush coat. We can have Dwayne brush coat and clean hooves for both of them and then we'll have him get leftovers. Yeah, she made one grilled cheese, didn't she? It's excellent quality though, so that's great. <laughs> Patrick leveled up his creativity because he's playing with his little robot. That's pretty sweet. I think we'll probably, how are his needs? They're not bad. He's getting a little bit hungry, but not much. So maybe we'll just have him get some leftovers, take a shower and go to bed. And he can kind of go to bed early. What's Ray doing? She's gonna listen to Denali. That's really sweet. And then we can have her show off work. Ooh, she can, okay. I wonder if this will help with her fear of failure. <laughs> it just says that she needed to do the like show off work thing with something that she made. And I sort of didn't realize that that would work for food, but that's cool. Was my cat up to no good behind me? Was she doing something bad? <laughs> I think, oh, okay. What's happening? Oh, she, he can't access. Oh, it's because Denali's asleep. That's fine. How's Dusty? Dusty is great and clean and, and perfect. Everyone's getting food. Did Ray show off her grilled cheese? No. She's gonna eat it now, but that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Look at them. Just family having leftovers and grilled cheese together. Plus also this elder is here. Not totally sure why. That's fine. <laughs> Who, like, how do we know her? I'm fine with it. I just, I just don't know where she came from. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna have them all go to bed, like I said, kind of early, just so that we can have, we can get up early. Oh, I forgot this was her painting as well. <laughs> she can show it off to Dwayne. Maybe that'll help with her fear. Okay, Kim is going home. Um, and then I'm gonna have her go to bed and, oh, perfect. Dwayne is gonna come look at her art, even though it's been hanging above their bed for quite some time. <laughs> Ray just like really needs him to like look at it, okay? Just like take a look, please recognize it. Okay, I don't know that that did anything, but we tried at least. Maybe I'll read the fear a little bit closer. I literally just saw like show off work and I was like, yep, I can do that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's have them both go to sleep. And then Pat, let's have him take a quick shower. I'm gonna clean up these plates. Uh, but yeah, we, he will take a shower and then go to bed. And then tomorrow's his birthday. Can you believe it? Can you even believe it? And we'll age him up at the party. Cause I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure usually for birthday parties, the requirements include like baking a cake, eating the cake, blowing out candles and stuff. So we'll wait until the actual party to age him up. And then we can give him a teenager yeehaw makeover, which I'm pretty excited about. He already has like really good, very yeehaw vibes. Um, but eventually as he, so Pat's whole thing, when he eventually like ages up and becomes older, he is going to be a snob, but also super into family. He really wants to build a big family. Um, and he is going to do a bunch of nectar making. Um, so he's going to make age and sell nectar as a way to like make money and the goal is that he will save up enough money to build a big huge ranch house that he can live in with 
his like eventual big family. So I really want him to have multiple kids. Um, that's the goal. That's the hope and plan. But yeah, so I want him, <laughs> I have like a lot of expectations that I have put, that I've placed on Pat. Like I need him to be really great at nectar making. And I also need him to make like a ton of money at that. So <laughs> we'll see, we'll cross our fingers. Uh, <laughs> but I think as he ages up, like as he becomes a teenager, I want him to get a little bit closer to that sort of like snobby nectar lover personality. Um, so I'm, I don't know. I'm interested to see how we can give him a little bit of a makeover. All right. Who's awake? It's Denali. Okay. Oh, and Kronk's ghost. <laughs> I uh, sort of forgot that uh, <laughs> the ghost of our first horse that we had in this playthrough, Kronk, has returned recently just to hang out on the farm. You know how it is. You know, <laughs> you love to see it. <laughs> Sometimes when you get sick, you have to let it run its horse. You get it. <laughs> okay. Dusty is tense. Oh, I think Dusty and Denali are in the exact same spot. That's a little bit cursed. That's fine. We'll just ignore it and it'll stop. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Baby Pat has to pee, so we're going to let him do that now. Oh, the fridge is kind of dirty, so I think I'm going to have Dwayne... Uh, clean out spoiled food. Dwayne also wants to do something fun. Um, but I don't really totally know what Dwayne enjoys lately. He doesn't like wellness. We know that from recently. I think he likes dancing, so I might literally just go, <laughs> let him go dance for a little bit just to have some fun. I don't know. Um, and then let's check on Ray. Ray is going... Okay, hang on. She's not going all the way over here to clean a plate, she is. All right, after she finishes this, I'm gonna set this sink type. There was a recent update in The Sims, which is incredible. It lets you set sinks as either kitchen or bathroom. So I'm gonna set that as a bathroom type sink, which should prevent The Sims from um, trying to wash dishes in it. But the thing that I've noticed is that you have to like remember to set the sink type, and I have not been very consistent about setting sink types, so. Dwayne is gonna go to work, uh, but I, he'll still, he'll like get the second half of Pat's birthday party, so that'll be okay. Oh, he's watching TV. I couldn't figure out why he was sitting down over here. It's just cause he's, <laughs> they have a very tiny TV and not really a great spot to watch it. <laughs> so <laughs> Dwayne's sitting all the way on the other side of the room, cross-legged on the floor watching TV. That's fine. Uh, Pat is also watching TV. He's kind of, oh, there's a horse coming inside the house. Again, my stance is I do not lock the doors for horses. I'm not saying that's the right decision or the best decision, but it is the decision that I've made. <laughs> the horse is here, you get it. <laughs> uh, I think maybe, can we have Dwayne? Can we have Dwayne brush coat and clean hooves before he heads off to work possibly? Is that possible? Why is he tense? From disliking the decor. Okay. Well, that's fine. This is great. That's totally fine. Um, how's Ray doing? Oh, Ray's dancing. <laughs> I think I am going to move the yoga mat to it used to be outside and then i think i moved it inside one time because it was raining so we'll just move it back outside it's it's getting a little messy on their lot i will admit so i think soon i will want to do a little bit of a makeover and just kind of like clean things up, like tidy things up um look at her go she's great She's a star. Um, okay, anyways. She wants to clean the kitchen. 
I think I might see if we can have her, oh no, we're gonna wait to bake a cake, but I think we can have her make some like food to serve at the party ahead of time. I think we need to wait to bake a cake until we're actually in the birthday party. Also, this happens every time I try to launch, every time I try to cook, I should have saved before doing this. It's fine. But every time I try to cook in The Sims, it takes so long to open the cooking menu and I get so afraid. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, we're, we'll have her make some food for the party, but I think we need to wait to have her bake a cake during the party because I'm pretty confident it's one of the like requirements to do. So let's make party size vegetable dumplings. Dwayne is off to work. Pat, how's... Okay, Dusty and Denali both have fine hygiene now. But Denali is sad. Also, I'm going to save the game real quick. Just, you know, just because. It's been a minute. <laughs> and one, one important lesson about The Sims is that you should save all of the time. Just in case. Okay. Pat is gonna go chat with Ray. Denali is sad, but all of her needs are good. She's just kind of sad. Maybe munching on this prairie grass will cheer her up, hopefully, possibly. Look at them. Okay, it did. It actually did cheer her up. Look, and now they're playing. They're buddies. I love them. Okay, anyways, that was, that worked. That worked way better than I expected. <laughs> Pat is like, hi mom, are you making food for my birthday party? I don't know if he's thinking that, but that's just what I'm imagining he's thinking. Okay, it's 9.20 a.m. The birthday party doesn't start till 1 p.m. So we've got a good amount of time. So what do we do? What would you do if you were a child and you were about to age up to a teen and it was mere hours before your birthday party. What would you do? Maybe... <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put these in the fridge and I think I'm gonna have Ray cook some more. So again, I just wanna make more stuff that they can like eat at the party, but it, that isn't... Um, oh God, the, the game makes me so nervous. Every single time I try to cook, I just know one of these days it's gonna crash. Knock on wood, I take it back. I didn't say that, okay? It wasn't me, I said nothing. It wasn't me. Um, okay, what else is good party food? Also, I'm making all vegetarian food because Ray is a vegetarian. So I don't wanna risk her making meat and then accidentally eating it. So everyone just eats vegetarian in this household. Ooh, let's do veggie sliders. We'll do party size. And then... Okay, we just had to let the game catch up a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we can have Pat... We still have three hours till this party. We have like a, truly so much time. Oh, there's horse poop over here. No one saw it. No one saw a single thing. There was no horse poop, it's fine. Ooh, okay, Dwayne has another work event. He, I think he, he works in the like gardening career field, but I think his job specifically now is the flower arranging section, but okay. Banged up bonsai. The latest batch of prized bonsai shrubs organically sourced from the San Machuno Grange were damaged in transit and their normally perfect tuft of needles crushed into something not very zen. What can Dwayne do with these precious plants? Use them for pruning practice or try to create compelling custom shapes. I feel like Dwayne is bold and brave. I think he would, <laughs> and I think he's pretty confident in his skill. I think he would try to create custom shapes. Be like, no, 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 I can save this. Don't worry, I can totally save this. How did it go? It did not go well. Tried to make some custom shapes with damaged bonsais, but to no avail. Okay, well, that's fine. At least he tried, right? That's that's important still. <laughs> All right, let's have... <laughs> 
Let's have Pat hang out with Dusty a little bit. I really want Pat and Dusty to be like best buddies. I want Pat to really connect with Dusty and for it to be like his horse, you know? Um, I want Pat to try to do some horse riding a little later, but the first time that we went horse riding with Pat, he did ha he had a really bad experience. So <laughs> he went, he like, they went really far. They like rode horses really far away. And then Pat just got off of the horse. The horse ran home and Pat walked home and it took just a truly absurd amount of time. So anyways, <laughs> hopefully eventually we can get Pat to enjoy horse riding, but I want to wait until it's a time that we have like a lot of time for him to, to like, I don't know, figure that out. Oh wait, why is he? Dusty is scared now. I wonder what scared him. Why? Okay. Well, that's a bummer. I don't know why he got scared. I hope it wasn't something Patrick did. All right, and then Ray. Oh, Ray is going to make drinks. She's just, I, I guess she's just, she's just getting excited for the party. So she's gonna make a drink in preparation, which I guess isn't terrible because she'll work on her mixology skill a little bit. And I think she might possibly be making drinks when it's party time, so. Not a bad thing. Truly not bad. What did Pat... Mm, Patrick, those are for the party. Okay, it's fine. They're having a little... A little mother-son pre-party moment. Okay, this is actually quite cute. Ray is like, can you believe it? You're about to age up to a teen. I remember when you were just a tiny little baby, my tiny little baby, and now look at you. You're all grown up. Anyways, that's just what I imagine they're saying, right? <laughs> Hi, Chloe. Welcome back. Our Sims are having a really, really precious moment pre-Patrick's birthday party, which starts in an hour. Um, <laughs> They're just having a little mother, mother, son bonding time right before Pat ages up to a teen. Hey, yo, look at you, Chloe. <laughs> oh, and who is this? Wait, Denali is like just sleeping right in front of the door to the party barn. She's like, this is so sweet. I'd really love to listen to this adorable conversation, but I'm so sleepy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. We have 30 minutes until birthday party starts. I think I'm going to have them look. Oh, actually, let's have... Yeah, I really want Ray to check in with Dusty because Dusty, the horse, is scared and I'm not totally sure why. So we'll have her check to see why. And then I'm also gonna change Patrick's outfit to, I don't remember if he has like a party outfit. I can just check. Oh yeah, this is good. I'm pretty sure it's like a Canadian tuxedo, no? Isn't it all? Yeah, denim on denim. Look at him, yes. Lots of things can rile up a horse, but a little reassurance will help. Okay, so it doesn't really say why. Excuse me. It doesn't say why Dusty is scared. So we can just have Ray hang out for a bit and try to calm try to calm Dusty down. And Pat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He wants to brag about grades. Okay. Oh look, another job offer. Right before our party starts, uh, Ray is getting the second job offer of today for Code Monkey. You can join. Oh, no need to start as a Code Monkey. You can join as a project manager. For oh, Tech Guru, Tech Guru Path. You could become an esports gamer or entrepreneur in no time. I feel like she's gonna say no. She's gonna once again decline the job offer. <laughs> She's like, that's not really my thing, but thank you for thinking of me. 
look at him. I just, like, the denim on denim, the cowboy hat, it's so good. We're gonna start his birthday party. Dwayne is currently at work. His boss may not think, okay, fine. Dwayne can stay at work. It's fine. Um, oh, I think Ray. Some tips for a more successful event, a birthday celebration. The birthday celebrants need a cake. Yes, that makes sense to me. <laughs> me and you, me when you and warrior are talking late at night literally me anytime when i was a kid and i would go to like sleepovers you know i would always want so desperately to like to like hang out and stay up late and participate in whatever like conversations were happening <laughs> but i would get so sleepy so i would just like i would be like so intent on staying up and chatting and i would fall asleep <laughs> Hi, Teeny. What is happening? Um, our baby Pat, the birthday boy, baby Pat, he's about to age up to a teen. Also, look at him. I cannot. His denim on denim, this pose. Okay, well, he, he looks a little bit. His, I don't know what where he's looking, but he looks great. Me minding my own business, scrolling TikTok, then coming across Bella. Yeah, surprise. This is my first time streaming live on TikTok. I hope you like it. What a learning experience it has been. <laughs> but it feels like the perfect day. Patrick is growing up. He's no longer a baby. I mean, he hasn't been a baby in a while, but he's no longer even a child starting soon. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> when you're back, when you're in the back of the car as a kid and you can hear your parents talking in the front, yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, I love this, but I'm also certainly gonna fall asleep. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, we need to blow out candles, have Sims playing games, have Sims playful at the same time and make a group meal. So I think the only game that we have is chess, Sup the super fun party game chess, which actually Pat has played a lot of chess in his time. So that's not so weird so i might move the chess table over to the party barn area so that we can have but it says have three sims playing games at the same time so like what game do we need to go buy games really quick um and then also playful make a group meal okay we'll see about this i think i will have ray try to make a group meal which i don't let me check actually if you hover over make a group meal does it say anything no okay that's fine maybe if i just make a meal that is for a large group that will count or i can also have one of like another sim help her cook and maybe that will count as a group meal i don't really know what counts we'll see but either way we'll have her cook some more um, and let's do, what's a good group meal? Let's do tofu tacos party size. I feel like since Pat is a kid, he probably will not be able to help her cook. I don't, I feel like it's like, it just feels to me like probably kids can't cook. I mean, kid, like not the kids can't, but like that Sims for like the safety of like, I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe Sims kids can't cook, possibly. Okay, but I'll put this away. I'll do some cleanup. Are guests arriving? Yep, here's some. Here's Jacob. Who's this? Oh yes, Pelham land grab with a lump of clay and cat ears. That's fine. Cool, everyone is arriving. Oh my word. I just don't know what is gonna count as a group meal. That's Okay, so two Sims are already playful. I don't really know what makes Sims playful, but <laughs> thankfully it's happening. Oh, what? <laughs> Pat is not even hanging out at his own birthday party. He's on the computer. Let's have him go down here and dance actually. <laughs> have an adult make a toast? Oh cool, that's good. I like that a lot. Um, and then I think after 
Oh, I love it when Sims hang out in the kitchen with Ray while she's cooking. I feel like it's very cute. And as a person who has hosted parties and like cooked during them, I love when people come into the kitchen while I'm cooking and just like hang out and chat with me. Hi, Teeny. Thank you for joining from TikTok. Welcome. How are you doing? What's up? Look at him. The dance moves come like run in the family, you know? Dwayne, great dance moves. Ray, great dance moves. Pat, great dance moves. <laughs> okay. We need an adult to make a toast. Ray's cooking the group meal theoretically. Maybe. Did she do it? Did that count? Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm going to put the group meal out here so people can eat it if they'd like. I'm also going to, there were like two, there, oh, there's like a ton of food. Wow. I didn't realize how much food I made previously. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, but there's like a good amount of food just, what? when did I make these things? <laughs> I feel like these must be from quite a while ago, but that's fine. We'll just put them out because they're not spoiled yet. <laughs> there's just a ton of food. Anybody hungry? There's food for you. And a random drink. <laughs> um, okay, let's have Ray. Oh, she's on the computer. What's up with my Sims just being like, Ray loves parties, right? Okay, she loves parties. That's her whole thing. But she was like, instead, I think I'd actually rather <laughs> go upstairs and go on the computer. Um, I wonder if she can. Oh, is Dwayne here? Did he get home from work and I just didn't notice? Maybe instead I'll have Dwayne make a drink. Oh, he's tense. Okay. <laughs> Can he make drink for multiple people? Oh no, he's gonna, he's just gonna make Bella Goth a drink. That's fine. We'll let him do that. He's doing that. <laughs> okay, we'll just pick that right up. You did not see that horse poop right on the dance floor. It's fine. Pat is so grown. He is aging up to be a teenager today. This is his teenager birthday party. I can't believe it. I was talking earlier about how Pat is our first Sim in this playthrough, like in this legacy challenge, who we've seen from infancy through to, you know, we'll see him through the rest of his life. Um, and it's so wild and exciting to see him grow up. I'm so soft over it. Okay, Ray's on the computer still. Let's have her come downstairs and make drinks. Can she, like, if she just makes a drink, let's have her make grape nectar. Why not? I don't know how that works, but that's fine. If she makes a drink, can she then toast with it? Like, will it let her do that? Why is there so much horse poop? It's like the horses knew Hi, we were trying bestie. to have a party. Hi, bestie. Hi, Affy. Welcome in. Oh my gosh. Nine months? Affie, we have a Twitch baby. Thank you for being here for nine months, Affie. I really appreciate the resub. How are you doing? What's up? How's how's it how's it going? What's new? Okay, and then don't touch this drink yet. Can you why are like Ray, this is your party that you are throwing and hosting, and you're bored? It's fine. Can she make a toast? No. Okay, well, we'll just leave that drink there and instead we'll have her cook, bake. Well, technically it's in the cook menu, but she's going to make a cake so that we can have a birthday cake and blow out candles. That'll be fun. I'm great, just woke up, nice. I hope you had some really restful sleep. Um, okay, hamburger cake, no. Oh, is there sweets? There's a separate section for sweets. I didn't even notice that. Let's do a chocolate cake. And then just let the, let the game catch up. Okay, perfect, we're good. <laughs> Look at his dance moves. I love that when you hover over him, it specifically says that he's the birthday boy. I just think that's really cute. <laughs>
Aww, everyone's like, hey buddy, happy birthday. I hope you have a really good day. Can't believe you're a teenager. What's Dwayne doing? Oh, <laughs> Dwayne's in the other room on the computer. Dwayne, what? what? Oh, Dwayne needs a vacation from work. That's interesting. I think I was talking recently about wanting to have the family like go on a vacation, like travel and have a vacation. Um, and I just haven't like actually set that up, uh, but I think that could be cool to do. It's still in my mind as a thing that I wanted to, okay, is the cake, okay. For a second I got nervous that she finished the cake and people were eating it. I do not want that to happen. We need to blow out candles first. We still have, Okay, we have an hour and a half left, so that should be plenty of time to finish. I mean, really the main thing is just to finish the cake so we can blow out candles. She's uncomfortable because something's dirty, but I'm not totally sure what. I don't see horse poop in the building currently. <laughs> That's usually the culprit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just waiting for the cake to finish. Just like stare, okay, perfect. Okay, okay, all right. Now set it down somewhere and then nobody touch it. Nobody touch it. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna do add birthday candles. Perfect. Add birthday candles, add birthday candles. Okay. <laughs> A thing in The Sims is that if you don't immediately add birthday candles to your cake, people will just start eating it and then it will be gone. And then you have to bake a whole other cake in order to age a sim up and it is very annoying. So we are going to have baby Pat blow out candles and age up to a teen. As soon as he finishes dancing and also talking to everybody. Okay, I'm gonna make him stop dancing and talking to everybody. <laughs> Cause I really want him to age up. I'm so excited. Okay, go on, birthday boy Pat. Please blow out your candles. Where are you going? Where are you headed, buddy? Where are you going? Okay, that's cool, but where are you going? My biggest pet peeve. Yeah, the Sims should anticipate that this is a birthday cake and that I don't want anyone touching it. We are throwing a rockin' birthday party. We're doing it right now. Look, there he goes. He's all grown up. Okay, age up now. Wow, can you believe it? He's no longer a baby or a child. He's all grown. Okay, I'm checking my notes for the legacy challenge, which again, if you'd like to learn more or read more about the legacy challenge that I'm playing through, it is Horse Sims Focused and it is called Love Legacy and Horses. Um, if you are in Twitch chat, you can do exclamation horse sims to get a link to my website where I have like a post about it. Um, I got some help from the wonderful Chloe Pear Blossoms underscore uh, in writing this uh, and I really like it. It's a five generation legacy challenge. We are currently in generation two. Um, okay, so we get to pick one more trait. And also I think I will need to change this trait, but I think I will have to like edit it because like, the traits that I wanted Pat to have when he was when he's an adult are all like adult traits. And when you're a kid, you can't choose some of them. So this is like, I don't know, maybe I need to like rework some of these, but basically I think we need to change. Like I, w eventually I don't want him to have the loves outdoors trait, but I'm not totally sure how to edit the traits, but we'll get to that. The things, the traits that I do want him to have are family oriented, snob and loyal. So I want to see if we can add any of those now. Hopefully they're not all, hopefully I didn't accidentally pick all like exclusively adult traits because that would be oopsies. Oh, child of the village. Oh, this is new. I forgot that I have the uh, recent, the most recent pack and it added new stuff. <laughs> okay, not slob, we need snob. Maybe it's in here. Ooh, generous. That's a cool new one. I'm pretty sure that's new. 
snob. Okay, so we could add snob or loyal or I don't think we can do the other one that I want to add eventually is family oriented, I believe. And I don't think that we can do that one just yet. So I think what I wanna do is add snob because I think it'll be funny and also maybe a little bit challenging. So for snob, it says, these Sims can critique work on low quality items, are bored by low brow television and gain confidence around other snob Sims. So I think it's kind of funny to have like a teenage Sim who's a snob. <laughs> I think it'll potentially be kind of uh, challenging, but in a fun way, so. I always think the default outfits are hilarious after aging up. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what his default outfit will be. <laughs> okay, and then for aspiration, the aspiration that I'm eventually gonna have him do is, let's see if it exists here, expert nectar maker. So we could, what we could do is before that, there are specific teen aspirations. Um, so if any of the teen aspirations feel right, we could do one of the teen aspirations first, or we can just go straight to expert nectar maker. I'm kind of excited to get started with nectar. Um, so that like makes me sort of want to go straight to nectar. Um, but he won't be a teen forever. So we only have this kind of like brief amount of time to do a teen aspiration. So let me look at them. We have live fast. The Sims get the most out of life by living carefree and rules free. That does not, it feels like that doesn't, that's like not his vibe. Admired icon. The Sim wants to be a trendsetter, popular and influential. That actually does sort of seem potentially on brand. <laughs> Drama Llama wants all the drama all the time. That also sort of seems like it could be on brand and goal oriented, good grades, sports, money. <laughs> uh, okay, that also seems like it could be on brand. <laughs> okay, so I'm sort of torn. I feel like we could do any of the teen aspirations, but I would also be totally okay going right to expert nectar maker. Also that this isn't a permanent decision. So like if we choose one now and then we decide that we don't like it, we can change it later. So it's not a huge deal. Let's see. What? Okay, eventually he's gonna be snobby or now he's gonna be snobby. What's the snobbiest teen, uh, teen aspiration? to be admired or to be goal oriented? What's more snobby? Admired icon is sort of reasonable, but I feel like I feel like Pat's vibes are less about being like popular and more about being like the best, you know? I don't know. I feel like I feel like this idea of wanting to be the best and successful does sort of make sense for him. So I'm going to do goal oriented, the teen um, the teen aspiration. And then when he ages up, he will do the, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> the expert nectar maker aspiration, but I think he can start practicing making nectar now. So that's exciting, but okay. We finally, like a million years later, finally finished aging up Pat to a teen. What's, what's the deal? We gave him the most incredible yeehaw child outfits. And I gotta be honest, this outfit is not giving yeehaw. Also, do his eyes look quite red? Oh, he has makeup on. For a moment, I just thought he was like, he had like very like red eyes. Like it looked like he had been crying, but I think he just is wearing makeup, which is, which is fine. Um, <laughs> how do y'all feel about a real quick teen makeover? <laughs> Playing Sims and watching you play is so satisfying. I love watching, like if I am not streaming, I love watching streams while I'm playing games because it makes me feel like I'm playing like with other people. I think it's really fun. So I'm glad you're enjoying. Um, okay. Oh, Ray is getting a call. She's, it's, it's another job offer. Also, this is hilarious because it's a job offer for working in the culinary career. Um, and she was just fired from the culinary career. <laughs> because she did something very 
risky and got caught and was fired. <laughs> so I love that like she had this job and was fired and then like another sim calls her up and is like, you know what job I think you'd be great at? <laughs> She's gonna decline the job offer, but that's incredible. Okay, let's, um, let's see, let's see. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish the party. We'll, we'll have the party finish and then after the party, um, ooh, eat some cake. After the party, we'll do a little teenage makeover for, um, for Pat and give him back his yeehaw vibes that were so rudely stolen from him. Also, y'all, thank you so much for the follows today. Um, I really appreciate it a lot. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Everyone eat some cake. Hi, kitty. Ren is sitting in his spot right in front of my computer, right where my mouse goes again. But he's actually laid down, so maybe he's just gonna settle down. Even though this is like a really disruptive spot, he'll just settle down here and that's fine. Okay, now that we're both teens, I really actually do want to have Pat introduce himself to Adelaide because I think it'd be really good if they could be friends. His first teen friend, because I'm pretty sure that Darcy is still, wait, 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 did they meet? I can't even tell if they did or if she's just leaving. Did they meet? Yes, okay, they at least met. I kind of love this. I don't love the socks, but everything else about this outfit, I think is a sleigh. Um, anyways, <laughs> yay makeover. Yeah, I'm excited for a makeover. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay. His first teen sim or teen friend, because wait, let me double check. What was I thinking? Yeah, Darcy is still a child. I think Darcy will have, I mean, Darcy will age up soon-ish, but I think we made, we made Darcy while Pat was already a child, so he'll be like a little bit younger, which is totally fine. But I think we'll probably wait until Darcy ages up to a teen to like reconnect their friendship, you know? Um, okay. Oh, happy birthday. Someone left you a nice new dresser in your household inventory. Maybe it was a hint to start dressing your new age. Okay, wait, that is pretty funny because we did specifically want to do a makeover. Okay. High school. This is so exciting. I wonder if he, yeah, he, he has high school tomorrow. He's starting out as a B student, which is actually really helpful. I think when we had Ray, because we didn't have her do any classwork like younger than high school, because we just started playing with her as a teen. Kitty, you're in the way, you know. Okay, it's fine. You're fine, kitty. You do whatever you want. Uh, but because we ha we started with Ray as a teen, she started high school, I think, as a C student. So it, it like took a while for us to get her up to A. But Pat, I think, will get to A grade much quicker. Um, but he does have to do his homework, which is sort of funny. But first... Oh, I forgot. I'm not even playing with any mods right now because I think my mods broke last time. Can I do... How do I, how do I, how do I get to create, how do I get to create a sim without using my mods? Hee <laughs> hee. I don't even know how to do this. Kitty, you're so cute, but you are in the way. Usually a mirror. Okay, perfect, thank you. Genius, a mirror or a dresser. Incredible. I think, do I have a mirror up here? No, okay. Usually, um, when I, oh, shift click, what does that do? Oh, cool. Oh my word. Okay, let's do modify and create a sim. <laughs> cool. Usually I use the mod uh, MC Command Center, but last time that I was playing, for some reason, my game was being quite goofy. Also, thank you, Miss Ma, I appreciate it. Uh, my game was being really goofy, so I had to remove mods. I don't even recall what was happening. 
oh it was that whole i had this whole thing where i like could not save my game it was very stressful but anyways we got it sorted <laughs> but i haven't put my mods back in yet because i'm terrified <laughs> Uh, so I'm just like not used to I don't know how to play this game anymore Okay See I feel like he sort of looks a little bit more Like his parents now When he was a child And like a toddler When he was a baby and a toddler I feel like I, He didn't totally look like his parents But I can sort of see it now I'm gonna remove this makeup because it sort of Just makes him look Sad or something Look at this What is this He has like lipstick on but i don't like it i'm gonna remove it okay there we go also i'm gonna change these eyebrows because they're not doing it for me let's do just something a little bit more plain those look a little too angry so do those i just want simple eyebrows but i don't want them to look angry okay i kind of don't hate those let's do those for now um and then let's look through his outfits i kind of like this shirt but everything else about this outfit i really hate why give him these boots and not cowboy boots he has worn cowboy boots literally all of his outfits when he was a child all of them had cowboy boots okay it's fine <laughs> I don't like this. Well, actually, parts of this I like. I actually kind of really like these glasses. That's really a cool look for him. I like it. That's meh. This is actually kind of good, too. I feel like some of these tops are giving, like, the... Are, like, they have that sort of snobby... I don't... Something about them feels snobby to me. I'm kind of into it. So, we just need to make him look like edging towards snobby but still a teen and also still yeehaw wow there's kind of a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of vibes to balance here with this one okay i sort of liked this but i don't know that i love Well, I definitely like the stripes better than not the stripes, but I feel like they are not like they they have a good like teenage vibe. Oh, I kind of like this. Like I sort of like this. Okay, let's just see the whole thing. I'm picturing this with jeans and cowboy boots. I also am really, really, really hoping for, I really am hoping for Pat to be queer. I like to sort of, like, <laughs> I like to partly let my Sims just like pick whatever. Like uh, usually in, when I'm playing legacy challenges, sometimes I will like make potential romance options for my Sims, but I usually let them choose whoever they choose. So, um, I like a thing that I really enjoy about The Sims is that no matter how much like planning you do and like setting up of stuff, your Sims can still make decisions and do things like differently than what you planned, which is kind of like, that's a thing that I really like. Um, my cat's back. Uh, <laughs> that's a thing that I really like. Uh, but sometimes I like to sort of try to steer them in a specific direction. So anyways, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for Pat to be queer. That would be cool. Let's look at accessories. Ooh, that's kind of cool, but I don't love it. I would really like to go custom content shopping for more, like specifically more jewelry. Because I find I do not like a lot of the jewelry that's in The Sims by default. Also, welcome a new friend. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Like, I don't know. I also, per like, personally myself, I don't wear a whole lot of jewelry. So maybe it's just that I, like... <laughs> Ooh, that's 
cool. That's like a full, a handful of rings. I don't know how I've never noticed this before because it's definitely a pack that I've had for a while. <laughs> Anyways, maybe it might just be that like, because I don't wear jewelry, I am just not like, I'm too critical of jewelry in general. I don't know. Maybe we'll give him a watch. See, I don't even like, I don't love any of the watches either. It's fine. I'm gonna give him a watch for now. I can change my mind about it later. Do we want to give him a cowboy hat? Would that even work with this outfit? Let me, let's take a look. Let's take a little peek. I feel like not this one. Okay, like, I sort of see it. I sort of see it. Like, I, you know, mm, yeah, let's stick with it. <laughs> let's just, let's just see where this takes us for now. I think I also want to look at some glasses because there were, there was a pair of glasses in one of his other outfits that I really liked. I thought just looked like super cool on him. But where were, there were like, oh, it was these ones for sure. Oh, they're so cool. And I think they came in like, yeah, like glasses, glasses. Okay, but I don't like them with the cowboy hat. I think that's too much. Why the cashews for reward icon? Um, I, it's, it's been a really, really long time. Uh, <laughs> but cashews have been sort of like a thing, like a little theme around here in this community. Uh, we call ourselves the cashews um, and a lot of stuff is just like cashew related. So we have a little cashew icon for the rewards. Yeah. I think initially the cashew was because, oh, maybe these though. No, I just feel like the glasses don't work with the, uh, with the cowboy hat. I think initially the cashew was because we were playing, like the first game that I ever played on stream was Stardew Valley, which is a game that I love and I still come back to often. Um, we, we were playing Stardew Valley on stream and I think I named a lot of my animals after different like food related items. And I think we named one of the first animals cashew and then it was just like, it just sort of stuck. <laughs> So we've been the cashews ever since. <laughs> so cute. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Okay. Like, can you see, can you see him going to school, going to high school like this? I'm going to vote yes. I'm going to vote yes. Okay. This outfit also, this is his like formal outfit. And I think some stuff definitely needs to change, but like, I like, I really like the way that the glasses look here. Go back to the glasses, please. Okay, it's fine, I'll do it. But I think I wanna change them to be maybe a different color. Like I think, I, well, maybe it's the, like maybe something about the purple is what makes them really cool. Ooh, that's cool though. I always wondered why we were the cashews. Yeah, I think it's just like a thing from a long time ago that uh, that's stuck, yeah. Is that a cat cam on the bottom? Yes, my cat has been, I think my cat is gone. I think my cat is gone right now, but I do have a cat cam on Twitch. Um, but my cats are like, lately they've been so inconsistent about staying on the cat cam. <laughs> so they'll like hang out for a bit and then totally bail for a long time. So right now the cat cam is empty. One of my cats is actually napping on, I have a little bed that is on my desk with me. And previously the cat cam used to be pointed at my desk at this little bed, uh, but then they stopped napping here. I feel like sometimes they just know where the cat cam is pointed and they're like, no, I will not be on camera. Um, but yeah. Um, okay, let me just look. Oh, is this from the new, I forgot. I think that recently The Sims had a pack. I think it was like the Romantic Garden or something pack um, available for free, which I got and that was, okay, I actually sort of, I don't know, like, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm going for with this outfit. Okay, but like that doesn't look good together. I feel like with these pants, we need like a shorter shoe. I don't know fashion. 
Is this cool? When is my teen ever gonna have to wear a formal outfit? Oh, maybe prom, I guess, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe I should just make this a more prom-like outfit. I don't know. A thing that you should know about me, if you don't already, is that I'm very indecisive. <laughs> more contrast with the shirt, I think so too. I sort of don't hate what we have going on, but I think we need a shirt that's a little darker. But I like, I don't know, something about Pat, I feel like he would be the type of person to try to wear stuff that is like different uh -huh. than the norm, you know? Hmm. Like I can picture him kind of pushing boundaries a little bit. Is this cool? I don't know. <laughs> Like I sort of like the pattern on this shirt is kind of neat. And then like the green glasses and the green shoes. Is that cool? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hello, does anyone here know fashion? Just wondering, just, just curious. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it for now and keep going and I'll come back to it if I decide I hate it later. Hi Kahila, welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. We just aged up our generation two sim from our horse sims legacy challenge pat we aged him up to a teen they grow up so fast uh, and we're just giving him a little teen makeover because you know when you age up your sims and it's just not like it's it's fine <laughs> it's fine <laughs> okay this is his sporty outfit okay wait that is so cool uh -huh. i really like this top uh but what is I love this top. I always forget that it exists, but I love it. I sort of like this. I feel like like he's trying, I think he's, he's like trying to look cool, you know? Like he wants to look cool. Maybe? Not this. Let's see, what about this? No. This? No. No. I just have to look through all the options. <laughs> I just have to see what what is possible for us. Okay, I actually did really like this. I'm gonna remove the accessories. And then do we have... I love those shiny pants. I don't think they're the vibe, but I do love them. Okay, I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if we just do some kind of simple shorts and then maybe some slightly cooler shoes. Oh, those are cool. Got some answers on my tooth that's been causing issues. We'll get it removed under sedation. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like something that I wouldn't want to be awake for. That sounds unfun. I'm glad you're getting some answers, Kahila. I know that can be like really stressful, but I'm really glad that you're you're getting somewhere with it, you know? Okay, I think these running shoe type shoes are new. Ooh, these are cool. I think these are new from the recent pack, the for rent pack, I believe. Um, and I really like them. Let's keep those and then give him some little socks. Kitty, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's trying to do something next to my computer and I don't trust him. Yeah, okay, I feel like this is cool. Oh, does he have a nose piercing in here? <laughs> I didn't even notice the nose piercing. We're gonna remove that for now. Oh wait, I didn't mean to remove everything. That's my B. We have both. Okay, and they were the green ones. Kitty. Um, okay. I like this look. Let's go to the sleep stuff. I really love this top. I feel like I've never. Oh, interesting. It's just the I've used like this, like these versions of this shirt before. I just never realized it came in like solid colors. So let's do the solid color that 
he already had. I would love it if this, this came in like a matching color, but this is The Sims, so what was I thinking? <laughs> okay, maybe this has a similar, oh, maybe this? Okay, it feels like that's meant to match and it doesn't, it doesn't look like the exact same color, but it definitely looks close enough. I feel like he would definitely have like a matching pajama set. That's the vibe. And then, yeah, some like very nice slippers. Yep, 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 yep. Love it. Okay. Party. Really, like of all of the outfits, I feel like this has been the most annoying to me. It just like is not not his vibes at all um all right let's find i think we can definitely go quite yeehaw for the party outfit so let's do not that i love this shirt i don't know why i just do <gasps> like this is kind of fun although it's like a whole coat Ooh, let's actually copy the party outfit that he had when he was a what am i trying to say these are good i really like i didn't even notice that this was a top from the new pack but all of the tops from the new pack i really like a lot um anyways let's do really similar vibes to the party outfit that he had as a child which was denim on denim <laughs> i really liked that a lot so Print myself out. Yeah, I find that for me with Minecraft, I go through these, it's like just constant back and forth where I will play so much and love it and then get very burnt out and need a break. And then I will take a break for a while and then like really desperately miss Minecraft and want to get back to it as soon as possible. Um, and I have taken a break from Minecraft for a while and I'm really, really eager to get back to it pretty soon. Okay. I don't remember what denim he had on in his like child outfit, but I think it literally might've been, not that, but I think it might've been like a base game one. If I recall. Oh no, it was totally one of these, wasn't it? It was something, well, not that one, but maybe. What about this? Is that cool? I don't love it. No. Okay, let's try for it. But that's like so much jacket. And then this one I feel like is too... I'm overthinking. Who's surprised? Not me. Incredibly on brand for me. <laughs> okay, let me leave this here for a moment and put jeans on him. And then I think that'll help me like match to the jeans basically. So we'll do these trusty old jeans. These are the jeans that I feel like he's always wearing because <laughs> they're great. I think these are the, the jeans that I just make like all of my Sims wear all the time. And then these same boots because I love them. And then yeah, like I don't like this top. So there's this, but I don't love it. We can do this one or this one. Like I like this one, but I don't love the tucked in. Okay, let's see, let's see. I'm confident that I can find exactly what I want. <laughs> I did sort of like, there were some like denim looking, like these are kind of cool, but I feel like, okay, like what? Like it still gives, I love, I love this like half tucked in, like one side is tucked into the belt and the other side is hanging over. I really love that. And I sort of love that it lets you see the belt buckle. And this shirt, it's like less yeehaw vibes, which is kind of cool. Like this outfit is still quite yeehaw, but there's something about it that feels like, and some other fashion trend that I am not fashionable enough to know about. I think I'm gonna lean in and do it and give him a hat. Do you think he needs like a lighter or darker hat? No, I like this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. And then let's look at some jewelry, didn't we? Oh yeah, I give him a watch. I'll do that again. Cool watch. 
do this one because it looks like the belt buckle is like silver. So we'll give him a silver watch. Cool. Um, and then let's see. Sure. Let me just change these to. Well, I was hoping for, I was, I'm speaking too quickly. <laughs> I was hoping for green. I think he's worn a lot of green in other outfits. Yeah, I like these. Okay. I don't know why I do this, but I feel like I make my Sims like, like subconsciously, I make my Sims have like one color that they wear in a lot of their outfits. And then I feel like I have to like stick with that and do that. <laughs> okay. This is the hot weather outfit. I actually don't hate it, but I think we can do... Okay, this is kind of funny because I'm pretty confident this is the shirt that Dwayne always wears in hot weather or like something similar, or he used to wear this. Um, so it would be kind of funny to like have him have the same shirt. <laughs> Uh, but I also really like this, but I feel like maybe that's too, something about this is too cool for a teenager. Me too. The, the like picking a color for your Sims outfits. I don't know where that comes from, but I feel like I always like assign a favorite color to my Sims. And then I'm like, okay, all of your outfits are green. Hope you like it. Like, and I don't know why. <laughs> we could give him like a tank. But I don't love, ooh, okay, actually I really like something like this if it comes in a cool color. Okay, I sort of like this, but I do think he is going to need cowboy boots, which I might have to like, yeah, cowboy boots are not categorized as hot weather shoes, which I suppose makes sense because of how large they are, but I mean, if, even if it's hot, if you're on a farm with horses, you're wearing cowboy boots, right? You can, yeah, see, maybe I, maybe I should just lean in, make my Sims have, like when I do that thing where I have, <laughs> where I pick a color and my Sims outfits always have that color. Maybe I should also just change their likes and dislikes to make them like that color, to like explain it. <laughs> Instead, I just put them all in one color and then just assume that they like it. <laughs> okay, I like the idea of jean shorts, but I don't wanna do, these are the jean shorts that we gave Pa, the grandfather Sim that we had who lived with Ray at first when she was young. Her grandfather, to clarify, her grandfather. Not just a random grandfather, it was her grandfather. Um, but I feel like those might be a little short. Not that they're too short, also to clarify. They're not too short. I just feel as though like, as a teen, would he have the confidence for short shorts? Not sure, but I sort of like this look. It has Yeehaw vibes, but there's something about it. Like, I feel like he thinks of himself as cool, cooler than other people, willing to like try cool, fashionable things, be a little bit different than other people, but he's still, you know, not, not that much because he's still only a teen. Like I see him, like, I don't know. I'm trying to get a grasp for like what it means for him to be snobby. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I sort of like this and then let's do cold weather. I'm going to switch this hat to like a beanie, I think. Cause I feel like none of the, actually I could see this, this hat in particular, I could see as a good cold weather hat. I don't know why, but I'm gonna do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, cool. I also don't hate this jacket. I wanna see what other colors it comes in, but I sort of like it and it has like a sort of greenish color. I kind of don't hate it. Okay, I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. Ooh, I sort of like this. Let me adjust his, um, his like pants and everything first. 
because pants and shoes. So obviously, you know where we're going with the shoes. <laughs> His favorite cowboy boots again. And then let me change the... I feel he, like, every, almost all of his outfits have the same cowboy boots and jeans. Um, but I'm I'm leaning into it. That's it. That's intentional. Okay, let me just adjust the top. I sort of like this, but I feel like it would need to be a different color. But I don't love any of these other color options. We could do, like sort of denim on denim again but this is like the cold weather version of denim on denim but <laughs> i don't know if it i don't know okay let's see i like the idea of a turtleneck something about a turtleneck feels right but i don't know that i love those colors oh here's like another i feel like this one is similar to this one but slightly different That's very teenager-y, but I don't know if it's yeehaw enough. Oh, I do kind of like this. That's definitely, that definitely has ye yeehaw vibes. <laughs> uh, okay, let me go back down. I didn't love any of the ones that I saw so far. Also, there's this iconic sweater, which I think Pa had maybe like a cow version of it or possibly I can't remember specifically but I do love that sweater that's pretty good all right let's look at some of this other stuff these are definitely all cool but like I need to find a good balance of like cool teen and also yeehaw Okay, these look like the same thing to me. Is one like, oh, there's sort of different color swatches in this one. Hmm. Okay, I do really love this, but it's too fancy for cold weather. Okay, and I've officially gone through every single item. Okay, well, I'm not surprised by that at all. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the thing that we had first. <laughs> Uh, cause I sort of like it. I don't love it, but I do sort of like it. I think it's interesting, but I actually might like this color better. Okay. There we go. Let me, let me circle back to the top and just go through the outfits really quick. Can you change? See, I have to like cheat to change their traits. So I might have to change his, like cheat to change his traits or just like, instead of loyal, do loves outdoors, which would be fine. I don't know. I'll think on it. Yeah. Okay, I like it. I'm sticking with it. Done. Good. We did it, okay. <laughs> that makeover only took what? <laughs> like a half hour? <laughs> Oopsies. Two things that I'm not fast at in this game, uh, makeovers and building. And I don't think I will ever be fast at them, so it just is what it is. I think there's an option in the reward rewards store to retrate without cheats. Okay, I like that. I think maybe that can be a thing that we do then because like, and I might make an adjustment in the like description of the challenge um, because I like the traits that we have, but I do like the idea of like changing to one later. My coffee is so cold. It is not even a little bit warm anymore. Okay, look at them. Okay, Dwayne looks kind of sad, but look. Look at these yeehaw dudes. Okay, I'm very happy. Look at him, he's so proud of himself. He's like, I'm grown up now, dad. <laughs> I think it's also a potion, so another Sim could buy the retrait. Okay, cool. I find that usually when I play Sims from like a young age, I end up having, like it ends up being pretty easy to get the satisfaction. I mean, okay, I guess I don't have a ton right now. 
<laughs> but I feel like I'm able to get the, the points, the like reward store points pretty quickly. So I definitely wouldn't mind like saving up for him to change his traits when he's a little older. That would be fine with me. Look at them. Oh, it's not going great somehow. <laughs> I love that Pat and Ray had like a mother-son bonding moment before the party. Um, and now Pat and Dwayne are having like a little father-son bonding moment. This is really cute. I love this game. It's so sweet. Okay, but Dwayne really has to pee. So it was like a kind of brief bonding moment, that, but that's fine. Uh, I'm going to put all of the leftovers back into the fridge so they can eat them later. I didn't realize... I feel like I have made food... Oh, is this has this gone bad? It's spoiled. Yeah, we'll get rid of it. Um, I think I made... Oh, these are as well. <laughs> Uh, I think it's because I made them like a long time ago and just forgot about them in this uh, in this fridge. Oopsies. Oh, no one even had the grape nectar. Ray, after you finish, come drink this grape nectar. I hope it's good. And then also I want to see if now that Pat is a teen, can, yes, he can craft nectar. So we can get him started on his nectar making skill. Um, I, yeah, I think that is going to be a hobby that he starts soon. I really, really hope that this game, dear Sims, please be kind to me and make my Sim enjoy nectar making, please. I'm begging gently. Um, okay. Anyways, happy birthday, Pat. <laughs> You're a teen. They grow up so fast. I'm so proud. I am going to have him do his homework, his brand new high school homework. Um, and then I want to take a look at his aspiration. Wow, he's already earned 500 simoleons. I'm not even really sure how. <laughs> like, I don't know how he did that. But apparently between ter becoming a teenager and now he earned 500 simoleons. So great job, Pat. <laughs> look at him. I'm so proud of him. Um, he has to do homework five times. That'll be easy. And he also has to join an after-school activity, so we can look into the after-school activities pretty soon. Um, I'm not sure what he'll join. Initially, I was thinking football, but I don't know if he strikes me as a football guy. Although, he doesn't not strike me as a football guy. I could see him doing football. I think Ray did cheer, so it would be fun to try something else out so he could do football. Uh, but there's also, I think chess which actually he did really like chess when he was younger so i've taken it all back i think chess i think there's like a chess club um and i think it would make perfect sense for him to join the chess club incredible done it welcome in new friend thank you so much for the follow i hope you're having a really good day hello hello wow okay this is so on brand for i mean i guess we did like intentionally just give him the snob trait but like He's such a snob. I mean, okay, also wait, <laughs> let, me, let me run that, but hang on. <laughs> Liking classical music doesn't make you a snob. That's not like, it's not like because you like classical music, oh, you're definitely a snob, but it feels like snob, a snobby sim would like classical music. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, he likes classical music, great. <laughs> I'm not trying to insult anyone, okay? Just to be so clear. <laughs> All right, uh, he really does have to pee kind of a lot, but he is already halfway done with his homework. So, wow, that's easy. Um, so after he finishes his homework, we'll have him use the toilet and maybe, oh, Ray's already asleep. Pat is on the, or Dwayne is on the computer somewhere. Let's have Dwayne come clean up after the party because Ray did a bunch of cooking to prep for the party. So Dwayne can do the cleanup after the party. That is fair. I feel like that's a good division of work. Any horse poop lying around? I just want to, I just want to get ahead of it. I don't want it to just be <laughs> lying around making my Sims mad. Oh, and he can evolve these plants. They're not in season, but he can evolve them. Okay, and then I think Pat... 
yeah, he can't ride this bike anymore because he is, he has grown up, but we'll put it in his inventory and maybe when he eventually has a kid, he can gift it to them. I sort of like, I think because we're, go we're the way that this challenge is going to work is that over time, we're going to build up this lot um, into like a, a, like getting larger and larger horse ranch. So eventually we're going to have um, a big house for our Sims to live in. Uh, we're going to build like a better, bigger facility for the horses. And like, it's just going to be, it's going to become a bigger horse ranch basically. Um, Ray's already asleep. Anyways, so I usually when I play The Sims, my Sims will like move like as a Sim ages up to adulthood, they move out and like go live in their own house. Uh, and so I find that I don't usually like bring a lot of stuff as my Sims age up and grow. Um, so I'm sort of excited about since we're staying in the same lot for the entire challenge, like we'll get to keep a bunch of items really easily and just like have like keep them on the lot. Uh, so I really want this family in particular to focus on like, I don't know, like keeping stuff, like keeping mementos and everything. I like that. Oh, Pat is, what's he doing? Pat acquired the fitness skill. I don't know what he was doing though. <laughs> he was just standing here, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pat's needs are all really good. He's not very tired, but I think I do want to have him go to bed soon because he has class in the morning and we're gonna get to go to high school with him for the first time <gasps> i'm really excited okay push up yeah i think you're right i think he got out of the bathroom and was just like gotta get some push-ups in real quick <laughs> i also want to check on his um skills so he has really high lot see like he has high logic skill that's his highest skill it's his only high skill um so i think it makes a lot of sense for him to join the chess club i like this he has okay horse riding and that's basically it I want to see if we can look at what are the yeah I want to do join an after school activity just because I want to see the options that it shows up I'm like because I I'm fairly certain that chess club chess club will count as one but I want to be sure yeah okay perfect so chess team member and they have Monday, is it Monday, Tuesday, Thursday? Not, it's not Saturday, Sunday, and yeah, it's Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Join the high school chess team, put your logic skills to the test by joining this activity and meeting teammates. Wait, I, I stopped being able to read halfway through that sentence. <laughs> Put your logic skills to the test by joining this activity and meeting teammates that you can enhance your chess playing skills with. By joining this activity, you'll be able to request a high school science fair. Oh, cool. Where, where you'll get to participate in a chess puzzle with other guests. Build your way up to captain where you can earn a special chess table, a team flag, and a trophy. Yeah, this is 100% it. Um, it looks like their first meeting is 3.30 p.m. on Monday, so I think we can join. If we join now, we should be able to go to chess club on like his first day of school. The other options are computer team member, which I feel like is cool, but is not quite his vibes. Cheer, we did with Ray, so I don't necessarily want to do again so soon. Um, drama club, also not quite his vibes. Football, I could see him playing football, but I think chess makes more sense, so perfect. Boom. And then we also, all we had to do was join an after school activity. So we've done that. So basically, I think by the end of the week, we should be able to finish the first. Wow. There's only three, um, <laughs> three sections of the goal oriented aspiration. So I think by the end of the week, we will be able to finish the first section, which is pretty good timing. Okay. Let's have. Oh, we can also, I think I don't want to do this now because I want to have some time to think on it, but we can also give him a little makeover of his room because it's it's not terrible, but like we can get rid of the nightlight uh, and get rid of like the toy chest and maybe move some of these things and make it a little bit more grown up because he's so, he's getting so grown up now. And we can also potentially give him like a wall. <laughs> Um, I don't know. 
I like the open, but I wonder if he would want more privacy as a team. I don't know. I'm going to leave it as it is. Let's have him go to sleep. Yeah, it's already 11 p.m. It's going to be midnight by the time... Wait, I saw a horse poop. <laughs> it's going to be midnight by the time he's in bed, I think. Or, okay, close to midnight. Uh, and I want him to be well rested for school in the morning. I can't believe he's a teenager. It feels like just yesterday when I was complaining about his really horrendous toddler quirks. <laughs> they really truly grow up so fast. Oh, the ghost of Pa is here. Why won't this let me put the trash into the trash? Why? It, it feels like it thinks that it's like tilted over. Like usually I only have the pick up option if it's like laying on its side. So maybe the game thinks that it's tilted over. It's fine. Anyways, um, class at 8 a.m. Why does it say owned businesses? Oh, I didn't realize that the residential rental counted as an owned business. That's kind of cool. That's neat. And then Ray still doesn't have a job by choice. Um, and Pat, I mean, Dwayne, <laughs> Dwayne does have work in the morning. So, <sighs> Just a heads up y'all, we have a Twitch ad coming up in about a minute and a half. So probably what we'll do is get everybody awake in the morning, get uh, get Pat to school, to high school, um, and then do a little bit of a pause before coming, like when we come back from the ad, then we'll, uh, then we'll play through the day in high school. But just a heads up that that's coming up soon. Okay, weirdly Ray, who's the only Sim who doesn't have somewhere to be this morning was the first one to wake up. Although I think she did go to bed first. So that does sort of make sense. Um, let's see, what does she want to do today? Make a friend, meet someone new, <laughs> become recognized for work. She wants to throw something away. Oh, let's have her fix our trash can that isn't tipped over, but thinks it's tipped over. Oh, it's rebate day. Okay. I don't think I ever celebrate. See, okay, it was tipped over. It just, it wasn't tipped over, but it was. <laughs> okay. Oh, and it's winter. I did not realize that it became winter. <laughs> Apparently yesterday was the first day of winter and I just ignored that somehow. I'm gonna move Ray's painting. Oh wait, okay, not what I meant to do. I wanted to move the whole easel. Yeah, I'm gonna move Ray's painting easel situation in here and have her finish working on her painting just for fun. Like, why not? She's uncomfortable because she just picked up the trash, which I made her do. That's my bad. What time did... Dwayne has work at 8 a.m. How are his needs? Ooh, he's kind of hungry, so I think I am going to have Dwayne wake up and hopefully get some leftovers before going to work. And then Pat also just woke up and he's kind of hungry. Oh, he's embarrassed from acne. Do you have acne? He's getting acne. Okay, poor guy. <laughs> Poor buddy, I can't believe he, he, it's his first day as a teenager and he already has acne. Um, let's do apply facial cl cleanser. And then let's also have him get some leftovers cause he's a bit hungry. He has like an hour and a half until he has to go to school. Wait, is it school at eight? Yeah, 8 a.m. Okay, perfect. OK, 
Okay, perfect. Yeah. Kitty, she just tried. <laughs> My cat, who's been very, very sweet and good, did <gasps> tooth fairy certificate. I never noticed that. I'm putting it up. Um, she did just try to reach out and steal my cookie, so. But she is really cute, so it's fine. <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh, he's kind of stinky a little bit. Do you have time for a shower before going to school? Dwayne's gonna go to work. Luckily, as long as Pat like does most of his shower, we should, yeah, we should be good. And with high school, since we'll go with him, like with some jobs, I feel like I, I like, my sim will be late because they'll just be like living their lives, doing their thing, and then they have to run all the way out of the lot to go to work. But with high school, a pop-up will just say like, oh, do you wanna join your sim at high school? Um, and it'll automatically send them. So they can't really be late, which is cool. Kitty, you can't have my cookie, you cannot. That's for me, it's a human cookie, not a kitty cookie. But you can nap and be sweet, thank you. Okay. <gasps> It's about to be his first day of high school. I can't believe it. He has grown up so fast. Oh, sorry, a horse just <laughs> ran through us. You know when you're just living your life and a horse runs directly through you, it's fine. All right, let's join him. Ah, I'm so excited. It's his first day of high school. You have the high school pack. It's always been a rabbit hole for me. I do have the high school pack and I really like it. I feel like some people, I know that, I feel like I have heard mixed reviews. Like some people really like it and some people really don't like it. And I feel like a complaint that I've heard is that it gets repetitive. Cause you like every day your sim goes to school and they have things that they have to go to do before school. And then they go to class and then they eat lunch and then they go to class and then they go home. Um, like it reminds me of like, I think people have, I've heard people complain about the get to work pack and how a lot of the like careers that you go on with your sim, they begin to get repetitive. And I think if you find get to work repetitive, you might find high school years repetitive. However, I think like I really enjoy the high school stuff. I think that the like prom thing is really fun. Although I will admit that like I usually I only have my sim go to one prom. I think they can go to one like every weekend, but I do not do that. Um, and also it added like really, really awesome clothes, which is pretty fun. So anyways, I have it and I love it, but I can understand people's critiques of it. <laughs> so like every day, the school day is, let me move my, let me move myself just a little bit. Okay, sorry if that was uh, confusing or weird. <laughs> Every day, the the like high school day has three, no, has like a few sections and you have, you like get a grade on it, like with events basically. And I think how well you do determines how much your grades improve maybe. Um, and so like every morning they have like one or two things to do before classes start. And then they have to like go and sit in class for an hour. Um, I don't know, I find it fun. Sometimes real life is repetitive though. It's realistic to have the same classes each day. Yeah, I agree. Like I can understand not wanting to have to like watch your sim do the same thing every single day, but like I just like ultra speed through, <laughs> I ultra speed through my sim sitting still in class and taking notes and I don't mind so much. <laughs> but anyways, look at him. He's in his cold weather gear because it is winter. Um, there are some other students here, so that's exciting. Landon Tinker, Jordan Kalani, Lanuola Paiwai, or Paiwai, I'm not totally sure how to pronounce that, but I like it. Jet Caliente, Tara Kananui. Okay. I was hoping to recognize more names of like, kids of friends of Ray, uh, but I do not recognize many of these names, but that's okay. There are some other people already here, but it's like, who is this? Selena Grove, Renee Lewis. Wait, how do we already know Renee Lewis and how do we already have a bad relationship with her? 
Ooh, okay, that's fine. Elena Tinker. Oh wait, there was another Tinker student out here. So there must be siblings. Okay, anyways, back to, I'm paying attention. I'm there, I'm, I'm here we go. Uh, so morning free, free period, we have about two hours. We need to learn about new school from principal. Um, I will admit this part of high school always really <laughs> is, oh look, someone's doing a tea pose challenge. That's cute. Blake Asawi. Um, oh, uh, our principal has purple hair, possibly? Okay. Cool principal, all right. I love this. Um, okay, wait, so, like this door is locked for everyone but faculty. So is this door and so is this door. So only faculty can go through this door, but this is where the principal is and we need to like talk to the principal about like to learn about the new school. So every single time I have a new sim go to high school for the first day, I like, I struggle so much with this and I don't know why. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm excited to see him make some friends. It's a lot harder to make friends when they're a child. Yeah. Yeah, I wish like, I think that's the thing is that with ch like child sims because they don't have high school, like the elementary school that the child, like, child sims go to elementary school but it's not like high school like they just go and disappear for the day so you can't control them making friends <clears throat> whereas in high school since you go with them you can actually like make them make friends okay so it says stop by the principal's office and ask to learn about new school but like how do we do that because we can't go in <gasps> oh i can just unlock it okay can I unlock it? <laughs> um, click on the symbol on your Sims when they're at school or work and change what they focus on. What? Oh, that's right. I guess I hadn't thought about that, that like when you're, so like, Right now I can do it for Ray, for example. There's this little symbol that says care for self and I can switch it to like socialize with or build skill. Ooh, what if we have her build her wellness skill? Let's do that. So there's an option to make friends. Maybe I should have been doing that and I just... <laughs> Update, I definitely just should have done that, but I didn't think about it. He -he. Well, it's fine. He can make friends now. <laughs> okay, uh, so like I would love to have a friendly introduction. Oh, great, he can just walk right in. See, it's like hit or miss. Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I find my new high school Sims go up to that door and they're like, I can't go in, oh no. Um, but apparently that was not a problem right now. So just ignore everything I said. Just forget I didn't say it. Just pretend I didn't say it. Forget it, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, this is more hands-on, which is cool because I can like better control him making friends and stuff. But yeah, I definitely a thousand percent could have just done that <laughs> while he was a child and going off to school and I just didn't. <laughs> Drop out of high school. Wow. Um, okay, let's not do that first of all. <laughs> um, learn about new school. So let's do high school. Learn about new school. Yes. Literally, I feel like this is the first time I've successfully gotten to do the learn about new school thing. Like, I don't, I, <laughs> I don't think I've ever done it before. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> okay, did it work? Is it, are, are we learning? It looked like they were just like mid conversation and just stopped. Ask about woohoo. Do not say that to your teacher. I mean, your principal. Did it work? Okay, perfect, it did work. Great. So great to meet you. Really awesome. Uh, I'm gonna leave now and claim a locker. Let's take maybe one of these over here. Or maybe, oh wow, a lot of the lockers are claimed. This one, claim locker ownership, perfect. Oh gosh, we only have a half hour until. Oh, okay. 
Can you like really quick, really quick, super fast, claim your locker real super fast, so fast. Okay, and then is this, is this your class? Attend math class. Okay, now go there really quick. Don't be late on your first day. He's gonna be late. Okay, no, he's, he's fine. He was there right on time, right as the bell rang. We're fine. Okay, I also never read what the principal said about high school. So it says, welcome to Cooperdale High <laughs> Welcome to Cooperdale High School, Mr. Gallup. I hope you settle in without too much trouble. We have two periods, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Otherwise, we give our students the freedom to interact and socialize with their peers and to study at their own pace. You'll be in class one. You should go find your teacher and say hello. Keep in mind, there are exams every Friday. You can find your way to a computer to study for your exam or just pull out your notes and prep that way. Our faculty will also ho hold study sessions after school on Wednesdays. Cool. Great stuff. Oh, I did talk to him twice. Maybe. That's fine. Cool. Great. Aw. Darcy says, congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is about joining chess club. <laughs> But that's sweet, look. How kind. All right, we're gonna speed through math class. <laughs> See, like this is why I don't mind it so much because this part where you're kind of, it's like, you're kind of just like sitting there, like your sim is just sitting there in class. You can just speed through it, easy peasy. All right, so now it is lunch. We need to be friendly with a student, but for some reason we already have beef with Renee Lewis. We are not friends with Renee Lewis. So maybe let's meet a new friend, Jet Caliente. Let's do mock sadness, jeez, my word. Let's do a howdy introduction. Let's see if people respond to our yeehaw vibes. That feels like a good thing. Um, Anyways, we're gonna, oh, that was so cute. And he, oh, he like responded yeehaw vibes back. Okay, great. This is good. Tell a funny story, sure, why not? We're gonna be friendly. Oh, we already have been friendly. That counted as friendly. Next, we need to be friendly with a faculty member. So let's be friendly. Let's do a howdy introduction with our teacher. Did it work? Cool, it worked. All right, and now we have done all of the like tasks and quests that we needed to do. So let's just get food. Oh, also Pat is not a vegetarian, I'm pretty sure. So his mom Ray is, so they don't eat meat at home. Uh, but he's not a vegetarian, so we don't have to do vegetarian stuff. But I think for now I'm gonna do veggie slider because that's what he's used to at home. Although I do think he had leftover veggie sliders for breakfast this morning, incidentally. <laughs> but that's okay, it's fine. <laughs> Let's have him go get some lunch. And then maybe he can also meet some new... Pelham Landgrab also said congrats. Oh, congrats on your recent birthday. Cool. He did age up. They grow up so fast. Okay. Oh, he's not even that hungry. But I mean, I feel like we have to do the whole experience, you know? And he can also meet, sorry. Sometimes my game gets like a little bit like goofy and usually opening up the menu helps fix it. Not always. Let's meet some new friends. Oh, we've already met apparently. Okay, update, it's being still kind of funky, but that's fine. Oh, okay. We were, Patrick was gonna introduce him. Okay, cool. <laughs> Selena just like got up to leave and Pat was like, oh wait, um, I just, hang on. I just wanted to say hi. Oh, Patrick is a snob. We got a snob lesson. Snob Sims love to critique the work of others and prefer the companionship of fellow snobs. Okay. So does that mean someone is or is not a snob around him? Maybe that's why he had a bad <laughs> relationship with someone because they met and he was instantly like, ooh, not a snob. I'm a snob. <laughs> like immediately snobby upon meeting someone. I could see that happening. I could see, unfortunately. 
<sighs> okay. He has 50, well, like 45 minutes left until he has to go to the next class. So I don't want to have him go like too far away. Um, ooh, but we can have him decorate his locker. Let's do dark academia. Let's do that. Let's try that. I want to see what those decorations look like. I hope he can do this before he has to go to class. I wish there was like something yeehaw. Okay, I, you know what? I don't love it, but I actually do feel like that's pretty on brand for a snobby sim. <laughs> I think that is his vibes. <laughs> okay, what class are we attending now? Oh, we're not gonna prank the whiteboard, hang tight. No, 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 science class, okay. Oh, and he does, I'm pretty sure, let me double check. But he does, yeah, yeah. He has chess team right after school. So that'll be fun. His first, and I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever had a sim on the chess team. I think I've had sims, I've had sims do cheer, cheer and I've had sims do, um, football and I think I've had sims join the computer uh club or team whatever it's called but I don't think I've had chess so I'm kind of excited about that okay talent show the student body is trying to organize a talent show welcome in new friend thank you for the follow uh organize a talent show the student body is trying to organize a talent show Patrick thinks this would be a great opportunity to show off his comedy skills. Patrick's friends constantly tell him he's funny, so why not expand his audience? Should Patrick sign up? Ooh. I feel like he is setting himself up for failure if he signs up. <laughs> but also, like, mm, no. Okay. Part of me is, like, I think he would think that he's really cool and a lot funnier than he is. And so be really brave and sign up. Uh, but also part of me thinks that like, because he's a snob, he would be like, no, no, no. I don't have to prove myself. I'm, I already know I'm funny. I think we're going to not, <laughs> I think we're going to say not worth the risk. Cause I do think that he is not ready to embarrass himself like that. <laughs> uh, okay. Chess starts in an hour. Patrick opts out. His jokes are for him and his friends only. Patrick would rather enjoy the show as an audience member. Yeah, that's fine with me. That seems fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. The school day is over. Patrick impressed his teachers and learned a lot today. So we like, since we did all of the tasks for the day, we got, we did like really well, which I think means it's like, it helps him get closer to getting better grades, you know? Um, but he will still have to go home and do his homework. I can't decide if I want to have him do his homework here or if I want to have him go home. Some Sometimes what I find about like the after school activities is that if I don't time it well, they can like, they can be late really easily. So sometimes I like to have them kind of like rush home. So yeah, I think I'm going to have him immediately go home now and hopefully he'll make it home in time to then like immediately leave and go to chess club and not be late fingers crossed oh he has to pee maybe he can get home pee and then rush off to chess club we'll cross our fingers for that that's what i'm hoping for i guess it's like they can he can get home pretty quickly because he just goes out like the back door of school which some for some reason like <laughs> is way faster than walking all the way to the front of the school. <laughs> I don't know. It works. It just works. All of the snow for the most part, except for like tiny little chunks. Uh, but basically all of the snow that was outside this morning has melted uh, and it just looks super wet and gross and rainy outside. I can't tell. I'm not sure how cold it is. It's above freezing, so it's at least it's not icy. But yeah, it looks kind of sad outside. <laughs> I'll be honest about that. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. So we we got he got home like actually a lot faster than I anticipated. Also, it's interesting that it's winter, 
And it's already snowy at the world where high school is. I don't remember the name of that world. <laughs> oh, we owe a lot for bills. Okay. I keep forgetting that like, because this ranch is huge, bills are so expensive. Um, anyways. It was, it's already like super snowy at the world where the high school is, but it, the snow like has not gathered on the ground in this world yet. Um, okay, let's have Pat go to the bathroom really quick and then he will, the rest of his needs are good, so that's good. So he'll go to the bathroom, run off to chess club, come home, do his homework. Great, perfect, everything's great. Oh, but he, <laughs> He like really has to pee. So he's doing that like waddle walk to go pee. So it might be a while. Yeah, it might be a while. That's okay. Let's check on our other Sims. Ray is grilling. Ray's grilling. Ooh, grilling a pot of wild nut soup. That's kind of fun. And Dwayne is really tense and hoping to go take a shower. So Pat, you might want to get out of there. Okay, nope. Pat is really has to pee so Dwayne okay just give me a second I'll get you in the shower in just one second don't worry about it maybe we can listen to alternative I don't remember what kind of music Dwayne likes so but he can dance for a moment that'll help with his fun I think Nope, he's really angry. Oh, he's having a really bad time. Maybe he hates this type of music. Okay, go take a cold shower. I'm sorry. I don't know how to help you. See, he's late. All he, all he did was go home and pee. And he's late for chess club. Oh my god, I didn't realize there this is like this is not an outfit that I picked for him. They have like a they have like a uniform for chess club. I'm going to save the game really quick. Uh, I did not anticipate that. That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> But okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Did Ray finish making? Okay. Wild nut soup. Quality excellent. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put it over in this in their fridge in like the main house where they live so that they can get it for leftovers really easily. Ray's uncomfortable because stuff is dirty. Did she finish her art? No. Let's have her finish this. It looks totally different from the way that it looked this morning. <laughs> she like went in a totally different direction. She was like, I actually hated what I was doing before. So let's, let's try this out instead. Oh, Dwayne is really angry. Okay. Uh, we'll switch this to something else. Maybe classical? Maybe he likes classical? I don't know. He really, he's like really not having a good time. I'm so sorry, Dwayne. I think Dwayne, I think it's possible that Dwayne hates alternative and I just didn't know. That's on me. That's my bad. <laughs> But after he finishes his shower, we'll have Dwayne get some leftovers. Maybe he'll try that soup. No, he's going to try something else um, and then do something fun. Hopefully I'm having another sip of water. Okay. <laughs> I just noticed that both of the horses have been like, watching Ray. <laughs> They're like hanging out and encouraging her. Like, cool painting. I love it. You're doing a great job. I don't know if that's what they're saying, but that's what I imagine they're saying. Okay, cool. Patrick is back. Oh, he's bored. Okay. Chess club was boring for him. Let's have him do his homework. Hopefully that's not boring. Is this spoiled? Yeah. Let's get rid of this spoiled food that he had in his pocket. <laughs> okay. I can't believe he thought chess club was boring. He really likes chess. He wants to clean the whiteboard 
And he wants to be in a well-decorated area. Okay, well, what does that mean? Do we just need more decorations somewhere? Oh, he's having a great time doing his homework, though. <laughs> Boredom gone. All I all he needed to do was start some homework, and now he is thrilled. Just the happiest ever. <laughs> okay, anyways, how's Ray? Still painting, still getting some encouragement from who is this, Dusty? <laughs> yeah. Dusty's like incredible painting. I'm just a horse, but in another life I was an art critic, and so I know. Anyways. <laughs> Nice, okay, Ray leveled up painting. Once she finishes her painting, I wanna see if we can have her do the like show it off thing um, for her. Okay, what is it? click on a crafted object and select show off work. Alternatively, while at work, click on your Sims portrait to change your away activity to ask for performance review. Okay, so she doesn't go to work, um, but let's have her show off work to, why is Kit Montana here? Okay, show it off to Kit. Look, they're so sweet. Okay, also, <laughs> I got this random like notification pop up that says it is certified that Patrick is a healthy baby boy. And I'm wondering like, <laughs> what that's from because it sounds like for like a birth certificate but he was born like quite a while ago <laughs> sorry to bother you i've heard what a great person you are would you be interested in making a generous donation no because we just have to, we just got our bills and they are not cheap thank you for asking though no, i appreciate that okay i guess she didn't show off her work she'll do that later i also am gonna have her pay the bills now that money is on the mind 2139 simoleons okay well that's fine it's fine winter holiday music okay we can do that we can make that happen listen to no change station more, more, more winter holiday. Yeah. Oh, he wants to light a bonfire. Okay. Oh, and <laughs> he goes to light a fire and the horses are like, hey, what you doing? What you got going on? You want to hang out with us? Here's a poop for you. <laughs> Incredible. Um, okay, let's have Dwayne listen to this, because that's what he wanted to do. Yep, and Denali's coming in to talk with Pat. Oh, they're so sweet. They're friends. They're friends. Okay, so Pat is going to brush Denali. And then what else does Pat want to do? So he needs to do homework more times for his teen aspiration but i don't know that he i don't think he can do like extra homework oh okay he can do extra credit work i'm gonna try this and just see if it makes a difference for his aspiration i'm not sure if extra credit work will count as homework or if he actually just has to do homework um but i am just he's an overachiever i just want to i just want to i just want to investigate you know he's gonna sit down on the ground this is exactly what he would do as a child as well is like wherever he was he would just sit down on the ground and start doing his homework so that's fine oh just kidding he's leaving he's like you know what oh no it's because he's talking to Dwayne. <laughs> they're so sweet does it is there like a weird it looks like there's like a crack in his elbow. I can't explain that. It's fine. I'm just forget it. He's like <laughs> trying to have a conversation with Dwayne while also doing his homework. He's like, no, no, I can do both. Keep talking. I can do both. 
Okay, and Dwayne is increasing his fun, I think probably from listening to the music. Hopefully. Look, he and Dusty are like almost sort of friends now. That's kind of incredible. Okay. Okay, Pat is halfway through his extra credit work. He's starting to get hungry, but I think we can have him finish his extra credit work and then get some leftovers. Oh, I just remembered we can have... Can we have... Yeah, we can have Dwayne help Pat with his homework. Maybe. Unclear if he's actually helping. It's fine though. <laughs> he's really close to done with his homework. It's almost 10 p.m. though, which actually this is kind of perfect timing. He's gonna finish that. Did it count as another one? No. So the aspiration is only for actual homework, not extra credit work. So <laughs> that's good to know. Uh, let's have Pat get leftovers. And then it is 10 p.m. So I think he can get leftovers and then go to bed. Put Darcy, that's weird because they're friends, but also why is Darcy here? <laughs> Don't put your friend to bed, that's odd. It is like, I feel like that's the, I. it's sort of difficult when your friend when, when your sim becomes friends with other sims of their age, but then they don't all age up at the same time. And then it's a weird... Anyways, I'm excited for Darcy to age up, hopefully soon, because I want them to be friends, but it feels weird having a teenager and a child be friends, you know? So we'll just wait for him to age up, which again, I think should be soon. Ray's already asleep. Dwayne, go to sleep, buddy. You're tired. Okay, Ray's needs are pretty okay as well. She's hungry, but not like desperately hungry. I love how often my Sims come all the way over to this other place to eat. Uh, so there's like, this is the, I feel like I keep calling it the party barn, which is accurate. Um, it's like a second building that Ray made as a spot to host parties and like social events and stuff. Uh, but the Sims love coming over here to eat. Also, there's leftovers in this fridge, so that's at least partly why. Uh, but I feel like they eat over here a lot more than like the main place where they live, but that's fine. It's cute. Okay, Pat, uh, he's on his phone, but he's going to bed. I think this is gonna be my last day of today's stream because I have been going for kind of a while, <laughs> a little longer than I realized. Um, but we had such a good day. We officially aged Pat up to a teenager. They grow up so fast. He's a teen now. Um, oh, no one celebrated rebate day, but I just don't really know what that is. So I ignore it. Um, oops, I probably should have just removed it from the holiday calendar, but anyways. <laughs> Pat is a teenager. He had his first day of high school and his first day going to chess club. And I think they went okay. Um, and we had a birthday party when he aged up. Like, I think we, uh, we did a pretty good job today. Next time we will do basically just more high school stuff. And I'm really excited. I think we will have Pat start to try nectar making next time. So because he's a teen, he's able to try like make nectar now. Um, and he doesn't have the, like we haven't given him the expert nectar maker aspiration yet. We'll wait until he's an adult to actually give him that aspiration. Um, but he can absolutely start working on his nectar making skill now. So cool. Nice. See you next time.